Good afternoon, and welcome back to our live um, events that we are having for Green County History Week. Unfortunately, yesterday we were having some technical difficulties, so we were unable to go live. So today I will be here to answer any questions you may have regarding the tax records, the deed records, and or naturalization records, or if you didn't get to ask any questions about the marriage records, you can type those into the comments and I will do my best to answer them for you. Um, while we're waiting to see if anyone does um, provide us with any questions or have any comments, I do want to um, give you guys some information about things that are going on right now. Uh, so today I have posted the links to the naturalization how-to guide or, or an, and tutorial. So that is on our Facebook page. It is also on our YouTube page. And so you can get to both of those on our main Facebook page, the Green County Archives Facebook page. We also shared today uh, a tour of our microfilm vault that we did last year as part of Green County History Week. We're sharing those again this year since we couldn't have people back in this year. Uh, we also shared our VIP page. So this is something new we started this year. Our VIP page is um, a, a way for us to highlight individuals within Greene County who have contributed to our, to our region in some way. So, so far we've had three VIPs. So the first was James Galloway Sr. We also highlighted Hallie Q. Brown, and our most recent was John Bryan. And so if you have any suggestions or comments about who you think we should highlight as part of our VIP program, we would love to hear those suggestions. Um, so like I said, feel free to, um, in the comments, make, ask us anything there is that you might have or any questions you may have regarding these particular resources we've been discussing this week. But if you have any other questions that you think we might be able to answer, you are welcome to ask, ask those as well. And if you're unable to, to watch this live and you're um, maybe watching this at another time, we're going to be following this feed. So feel free to go ahead and type in those questions or you can even email us directly and we'll do what we can to get those um, questions answered for you. Um, I also want to kind of give you a rundown for the fall, the rest of the week since Monday, we had our um, first live event and um, yesterday, unfortunately, we didn't get that to you. Uh, so yesterday we, we did share a video of our stacks. So that's our main storage area for the archives. Um, this section of the archives isn't typically open to the public. So it's a good opportunity for you to see where we store our records, how they're stored, um, provide you a little bit more about what sort of records are in that, in, in that area as well. So feel free to ask any questions about the video as, as well. Um, we also shared a program, the Osborne and Fairborn program. We did this last year, um, part of Greene County History Week. And it was very well received. So this is the program on the 1913 flood, the move of Osborne and the creation of Fairborn. So really it's about how the 1913 flood affected the region and the landscape of the region, which ultimately led to Osborne needing to be moved and then ultimately Osborne and Fairfield joining to become, combining, merging and becoming Fairborn. It's a really interesting story. It's a very unique story. So I really do recommend that if you have a moment, um, or I think it's about an hour long is the program, uh, just to go ahead and watch it. And I think you'll be really, you'll be really surprised by what you'll learn. Um, tomorrow, we will be do, providing a live to ask questions about the tutorial on estates and guardianships. This one um, is on YouTube and it's on Facebook. So if you need closed captioning, it's on YouTube. We are in the process of trying to update all of our videos on Facebook so that there is closed captioning. So if it's not available there, 
we are trying to make them all available on YouTube. So if you do need closed captioning, we are working on getting those all um, fixed for the future, for now and for the future. So even if our past videos, we are working on getting those updated as well. So if you can just give us, bear with us and we're gonna do our best to get those all ready for you. Um, also tomorrow we'll be sharing a tour of our map room. Um, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> It is a main storage area for a lot of our maps. So you'll be able to share, see that. And then also tomorrow, we're gonna to be sharing links to our oral histories that we um, completed with Ed Dressler and Jillian Hill. So be on the lookout for those. And then on Friday, we are going to provide another live for those who, anybody who might have questions about using Greene County records in your genealogical research. Uh, we have a program that we did this, we've done it a few times now um, virtually. I think we've done it at least once virtually, but this is one that we do usually in person when we can. And this is a really good, um, a really good background on the different types of records and resources we have available here at the archives and how you might find them to be useful in your own research. So be sure to stay tuned for, um, I actually think I've already got those out there. So if you check our event page, um, it should be on that page as part of the details, the event details, as well as a post on the discussion forum. And I believe it's even on our main Facebook page. So be, be on the watch out if you, or be on the lookout. So if you don't see it, it it's coming soon. Um, I also would like to once again put out a call for volunteers. We are always looking for volunteers and now that we are able to have our volunteers back in the archives, we are looking forward to getting some new people in here, uh, especially anybody who might be interested in photographs. We have a lot of photographs that we are working to get um, organized and updated in our system. So if you have a strong interest in photographs, we would love to hear from you. So feel free to email me. Um, you can send a message on Facebook, um, whatever, whatever works best for you. You can give our office a call, but we would love to get some, some volunteers in here now. So please, if you are comfortable getting out, we would love to have you here. Um, and I think the last thing I want to share with you right now is we do have our online exhibits, which are available on Flickr. So if you were, I'll be sharing that link um, tomorrow or Friday. Um, so watch for that. If you've not checked out any of our online exhibits, they will be available there. Um, we've had some really good ones. Elise has done a really great job with our online exhibits. So I highly recommend that you check them out. Uh, and other than that, um, we have a lot of our programs that have been recorded. So even if it's not one that we're sharing with you, to this week as part of our Greene County festivities. Uh, they are available on our YouTube channel. This even includes our educational programs, so ones that we've created for our Greene County educators. So these include um, our, our slavery program um, for elementary and middle school students, our immigration program for elementary and middle school students, and our we also have a program that is similar to the 1913 Flood and the Move of Osborne program that's designed specifically for elementary and middle school students. And we also do have some programming that is for slave regarding slavery in America uh, for high school students as well. So if you're interested in that, we have that available on our website. Um, that's not a video, so it's not on YouTube, but it's available on our web website. And all of these resources are actually on our website too. Uh, one last thing, since I'm still see, waiting to see if anyone else has any questions, on our um, website, we do have a lot of resources for younger, your younger groups. So if you are interested in a coloring book that highlights Green County history, uh, we have one out on our website. We also have one on, there's a crossword word puzzle, there's a word search. And all of those can be downloaded and uh, you can print them as a PDF. 
it's you know whatever works best for you. You can download it as a PDF and print it. We also have hard copies available in our lobby. So if that's something that interests you and you're going to be out this way, we do have those available here as well. And all of those are actually on our on our archives page, and it is the student resources page. So if you go to the student resources page, that's where you will locate and find those resources. Uh, when it comes to our educational programs, those are on the educators page. So if you have, um, if you know somebody who is an educator in the area, direct them to our page and they'll be able to download those materials to see if it fits their needs um, for their school and then they can go out to the YouTube channel and actually watch those with their class. So um, I guess that's where I'm going to leave you today. If, like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to send them our way. We will um, do this live to uh, tomorrow and Friday. So we'll be here if you have any questions. So thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.